Fight Club that is friends with the local golf club, residents, park rangers, and the community? Huh, it must be black magic. Come on, wave them like you care. <laughs> the best tip was learning to ride with your fly down. <laughs> Woo! Actually, a few guys mentioned this. Whenever it's hot, I ride with my fly open for the extra ventilation. <laughs> and it really works. Keeping the boys cool makes a huge difference and it's worth the occasional arrest for public indecency. Especially with my surgically implanted oversized gonads from China. This sort of inappropriate behaviour will only shut our riding areas down even quicker. All good? Our riding areas are either under threat or actually disappearing in many countries. In Australia, we are perhaps the most apathetic bunch of dirt riding whiners in the world. We love to hurl abuse at the governments or the greenies or the general public when our riding areas are threatened. <laughs> but mention any constructive action to prevent this? So what is this black magic used by the local riders here to have such a great relationship with the local community? Simple. They formed a club. There's some amazing tracks in here, courtesy of BMA, <laughs> the local club. It's been running since 1952. And these guys have been amazing in terms of working with locals. Working with locals to um, keep tracks open. Uh, keep friendly with the local forestry guys and generally do amazing work for the sport of dirt riding in the local area. Unsung heroes. And there are plenty of unsung heroes across Canada. Right across the country, dirt bike riding clubs are working hard at good relations with the locals and forestry departments. Look, it's fun to whine and complain about our riding areas being shut down, but why not do something constructive too? Join a club, or if there isn't one, see if there's any interest among local riders about starting one. From a personal angle, we can also try not to be dickheads. Avoid loud aftermarket pipes. Avoid riding near local residents, or at least ride quietly. Turn your engine off when you see horse riders. Don't be a dickhead on public roads. Don't litter our forests. Look, it ain't rocket science. These local riders at the BMA say they have dickheads visiting here every weekend who try to fuck everything up. But thankfully the community knows the club is trying to educate outsiders about playing nice when the dickheads come visiting. A much better alternative than the residents taking matters into their own hands. What else? I don't know, avoid unnecessary wheel spin. We've seen so many great tracks turned into long eroded ruts because dickheads get their kicks from getting stuck and roosting all over the place instead of learning how to ride properly. With growing environmental pressures, we will probably still lose a lot of our riding areas, but hey, at least we can do our best to minimise the losses. Amen. Amen.